One of the reasons we need to measure to know is in code optimization work, almost everything you do is counterintuitive. And I've got a couple examples in chapter 26 of my book, Code Complete, uh, which I'd like to share with you now to illustrate just how counterintuitive some of this work can be. <clears throat> Here's an example of a logical test in Visual Basic. And the purpose of this test is to process a stream of input characters and classify the input characters as math symbols, digits, punctuation marks, spaces, or alpha characters. And conventional wisdom in optimization work, and when I say conventional wisdom in optimization work, you should hear heavy sarcasm dripping from my voice because in optimization work, conventional wisdom is not worth anything. But conventional wisdom uh, would say that for performance purposes, when we have a case statement, we ought to put the most frequently encountered cases at the top of the list and the least frequently encountered cases at the bottom of the list because a case statement is like a big chain of if-then-elses, the conventional wisdom goes. And because it's like a big chain of if-then-elses, uh, the sooner we hit the case we want or the case that we have, then the fewer negative tests that will be performed, tests that don't find the desired end. And so if we put the most frequently encountered cases at the top, and the least frequently encountered cases at the bottom, we will minimize the number of negative tests, and in theory, that should improve performance. And so if we reorder uh, the test, in this particular case, we're processing a stream of input characters that consists mostly of alpha characters, secondly of spaces, thirdly of punctuation characters, fourthly of digits, and finally math symbols. Uh, so if we reorder the cases so that the most frequently encountered cases are at the top, the least frequently encountered cases are at the bottom, then in theory that should give us improved performance. So how does that actually play out? Well, uh, in the book Code Complete, whenever I present results from uh, an intended optimization, I always present the results in at least three different languages because the results vary across languages typically. And so it's important to understand that uh, your results will vary and that you have to measure to know. And so how do we do in this case? Well, in C sharp, we actually degraded performance by 18%, uh, which is kind of counterintuitive. In Java, the change had no effect whatsoever on performance. And in Visual Basic, we actually improved performance by 7%. And interestingly enough, the improvement in Visual Basic was actually less than uh, the worsening of performance in C Sharp. So in this case, this is actually, I think, a pretty representative example where we have about a one-third chance of improving performance and a two-thirds chance of either having no impact on performance or degrading performance. Now, what about that C Sharp result? How is it possible? that we degraded performance by putting the most frequently encountered cases at the top? Well, I think the answer is that the mental model of a case statement being a big chain of if-then-elses is simply wrong. That might have been true 30 years ago, uh, but these days compilers are way more sophisticated than turning a case statement into a big chain of if-then-elses. And so this rationale that we had that tried to explain why we should get a performance gain is just based on an understanding of how the compiler works that is just not correct. It's not how they work, and so we don't get the performance gain uh, that we are seeking.